Hey, what's up? B Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be showcasing the upcoming 1.1 update to the popular iOS 7 through 8 non jailbroken and jailbroken screen recorder, iRec. For those that don't know, iRec was released on the Emu for iOS store over six months ago and had a good amount of bugs that rendered the application useless on certain devices like the iPod 5. Since then, it did not receive many updates and users with those devices were left in the dark. However, development of iRec was picked up by Anthony Agatello and since then created iRec 1.1. iRec 1.1 features tons of bug fixes including support for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. If you're excited for this amazing update coming to iRec in the near future, hit that like button and let's try to get 600 likes. With that being said, let's head into my iPhone 6 running iOS 8.1 with iRec 1.1 installed and take a look at this amazing update. Alright, so as you can see I have a copy of iRec 1.1 here on my iOS device and we're going to go into this amazing application and see all of its features. Now, before we do that, I do want to show you that this indeed is iRec version 1.1 and as of the recording of this video, that is the most up-to-date version of this amazing application. Now from here you can see the list of developers including Anthony who of course helped tremendously on this 1.1 update. Of course now a new feature in this update is that you can open the iRec settings directly from the application. Now these settings are found in the native settings of your iOS device and you can edit the video and audio settings of course audio you can edit the bitrate although I'm not recording audio at the moment and you can mess with the orientation depending on what you want to record and the frames per second. To actually make a recording is very simple, you first have to name it, in my case I'm just going to name this iRec 1.1 test as I'll be testing this new application and once you hit start recording, your recording will start. However, a good thing to keep in mind as you can read under stop recording it says to record OpenGL content almost all games, you must enable assistive touch within the default settings application. Now. Most games and most new games do have OpenGL as it's the new way of making these games and it cannot be recorded natively by iRec unless you turn on assistive touch. However, that will only work on devices that this application supports and unfortunately it will not work on the iPad 2 and iPhone 4. That's just the way it is and I'm truly sorry about that. But as you can see, when I turn on assistive touch, it will start recording Minecraft. Now, at the moment, the recording you're seeing is not a recording of iRec because I was recording the recording of iRec. However, once I'm done recording everything, we'll go into the iRec application and watch my recording. And you'll see that the actual recording of Minecraft Pocket Edition, which is an open GL game, will start as soon as I turn on the assistive touch. But before we head back and stop this recording, let's do some more tests with popular GBA emulator GBA for iOS. Now, this also has OpenGL and requires assistive touch to record it. However, it's a bit different than Minecraft being as it's not a full screen game unless you put it in landscape, of course. But once you turn on assistive touch, it will not record unless you put the assistive touch over the game. As you can see, I'm putting it on and off so that when we head back into the recording, you can see exactly what I mean by the assistive touch has to be on the screen of the gameplay of the GBA, GBC, or GB game that you're playing. Now heading back into iRec, I will now stop the recording and it will take some time to save so be patient and just wait as it says please wait and once it's done saying that you can head into your recording and to view it all you have to do is click it. Now I'm going to quickly head to the Minecraft Pocket Edition section of this recording and you'll see how at first it was not recording it, it was a black screen but then when I turned on the assistive touch is when it actually started recording Minecraft Pocket Edition which I'm sure is something that a lot of you all want to record. So as you can see it's a black screen and bang right when I turn on the assistive touch it does indeed start recording the game. So make sure that whenever this does come out that you always turn on your assistive touch when recording open geo games like Minecraft Pocket Edition. And the same thing goes for GBA for iOS. Make sure you turn on assistive touch 
and that you make sure that the assistive touches on the screen as you can see in the upper right corner it doesn't work it literally has to be on the gameplay screen of the gba gbc or gb game that you're playing now Aside from watching an iRec, you can easily export it by clicking the I and then selecting yes, and it'll send it to your photo album. And from your photo album, of course, you can decide to open it in YouTube and upload it there, or you can open it in um, Game Capture HD or iMovie, which are, of course, editing applications to edit your video to however you would like it to be. But as you can see, iRec 1.1 has been updated with a few new features and a ton of bug fixes. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated. As well as if you have any questions about iRec version 1.1, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them. But please don't ask any questions about the release date of this new update because as of now, there is no official release date for this new update. But if you would like to be the first to know when iRec version 1.1 is released, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video. Because as soon as iRec version 1.1 is released to the public, I will have a video tutorial on how to get it for you all. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.